designed here. It's actually a computer or a laptop which is ran by an Arduino microcontroller. Ever since the release of the Raspberry Pi, people have tried to make computers out of those, but never an Arduino really, and never a laptop. This is fairly substantial in size, it's actually pretty heavy, but I'm still working on it. The display on this is laughably small, at 2.5 inches, or 4 inches, I don't know. Yeah, 2.5 by 4 inches, I think. And it has a resolution much lower than standard definition, but it's going to be replaced in the future as I develop this. This device actually has a keyboard and while I was trying to make the keyboard I wanted to make buttons that were very easy to make and I could lay out in a keyboard. I wanted to have an entire keyboard laid out but it just ended up having too many wires but I did end up getting a few keys, the bottom row in a spacebar. How it works is at the bottom this goes through a little screw which so there's a little screw here connected to a piece of metal and this connects to 5 volts through a pull-up resistor and it connects to whatever pin is on the Arduino this is just a, a stylus which goes straight to ground and how it works is actually whenever I press it it should press a button this won't let you type but it is a very easy way to save on materials cost for these things there is also a potentiometer which is being held in place of a mouse I wanted to have two but I don't have that yet. There's a switch and a power light as well. So if we go around the sides of this thing, it's aluminum here and it's between two cutting boards. Uh, so if I want to add jacks or other devices, I can just drill into these, these spaces on the sides. Also, on the back, there is the power port, which is one that I drilled. Uh, blank, and blank. I'd like to add more connectivity later. Looking at the hinges, you can see that they're made out of steel braces. It's wobbly right now. As you can see, if I let it, it doesn't hold up. But if I tighten it, It would hold much better when I tighten it and I'm going to use locking nuts when I finish this all of this is still a very early design of this but also want to trim down the screws at the back the screen is another cutting board uh, hopefully I could get a 7 inch screen it's going through composite video so you're not going to a higher screen resolution is not going to be there so you might as well use what you have for your lower screen resolutions taking a look on the inside
On the inside you can see how it's set up. The power jack goes... The power supply is 12 volts and it goes through a little car adapter which then goes to a USB adapter to convert the 12 volts to 5 volts which is used to power the Arduino currently not, not hooked up to anything but it does have a program on there also for 12 volts it goes to this its purpose is to power the display and take you a look closer at this edge you can see the switch controls the power of anything when the switch is turned on the light turns on and that stays on for however long it is used an interesting thing here is that interestingly here is the resistors this is how they're mounted they're actually mounted in the places where I would have had extra keys it's labeled here but the resistors go to the 5 volts I'm gonna have a piece of wire a bare piece of wire wrapped in between these and it goes to the 5 volts as well as for each pin. Here's an example of one of the pieces that I would have. You can see it leads to a pin. This would be soldered on. It would go out to the Arduino to whichever pin it may use. And it would hook up in the place. It would hook up to a place above the resistor. So that's how that would work. I still have more parts there. But this is not. Finished. Here are some other pieces that are not currently installed in the system. This is a breadboarded layout of the TV out circuit using the commonly known TV out Arduino library to go to composite video for the display. I still need to connect that on using a final board. This right here is an idea. It's basically an LED going through a photo cell, and whenever the photo cell is blocked, it will turn on and off this transistor. How that would work actually. How that would work would be using this tape. So this is just clear tape, electrical tape, and you can actually make make a code using patterns of this. So by measuring out the patterns of long or short this can be fed this tape can be fed through this tape can be fed through this and it will turn on and off the transistor this could be used for a storage mechanism for either this computer or one made using relays or transistors at the bare level. This is a display. An alternative to the composite display would be the seven segment display. I'm gonna try not to have to use this, at least on a laptop. Maybe if I make a larger computer this would be used. The problem with this is all the wires that must be connected to an I.O. port. Same thing with this, an LED display. It also has many wires to connect, but less since it's in the grid pattern. But you can only use one LED at once. And an Arduino Mega 
this is also an idea to be used for this device. If I had a larger keyboard, I would have to use this, but I'm trying to avoid that since I do not know the compatibility with this device. The second potentiometer, as well as a headphone jack, which would be used to connect external devices. For example, this LED thing could be an external device. It could connect through a headphone jack, or maybe even two. And that would be how it would be used. To work on the TV out circuit. How the Arduino TV out works is basically Pin 9 is the sync pin, and pin 7 is the video pin. Pin 9 goes through a 1 kilo ohm resistor, and pin 7 goes through a 470 ohm resistor. They both tie together into the central pin of the connector, and ground goes straight to ground. This should be a fairly easy circuit to replicate as I have it here on a breadboard. But since it's so simple, I don't think it needs to be on a breadboard or on any circuit board at all. You could probably just twist the resistors together, which is what we're going to do now. Taking out a multimeter, So if you can see it here, this is the 470 ohm resistor. So we'll keep this aside and check the other one. So the one, it's getting disconnected, but so this at 0.98 that's the one kilo ohm resistor. Let's wire this together now. So we have, so if I get back the paper, one kilo ohm resistor goes here. 470 ohm resistor goes here. So as you can see both of them should tie together on this end. So we have our wire right here. And this yellow wire is the central video wire. resistor and our other resistor should go as easily as to tie them together on this end and to tie them together on this other end. As we finish this we can just solder this down and cover it up. So we have this part and our ground. Ground can go to this wire, which is a solid core wire, so it should be easier to place it on the pin. 
So this is pretty simple, but we can solder it and insulate it with hot glue. So this is the example program of the TV out. And as you can see, the example program shows different slides and displays such as the wiring diagram as well as the logo and font size. This comes with the library as you download the program and do no modifications to it. And as you can see the random cube rotation, it just rotates a cube forever for the rest of the program. It's not a very useful program, but it does show you various things you can do with it, including this, which we are not going to use for a basic computer design. This TBL library was actually taken from the video game shield of the Arduino. The video game shield would allow you to use devices such as Nintendo Wii controllers to make video games using the Arduino. This is just the basic design of its TV out with just the two resistors. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this program and we're going to modify it into something a bit more useful for a laptop and hopefully we can make something that's in any limited way useful for whatever computing power the Arduino has. So let's get to the program now. Alright, so after adding some colons and other marks, we should be ready to upload this program. So basically what it should say is some introductory information. It's gonna print this line this line and this line after some delays so let's see if we can get that loaded onto the Arduino so let's plug it in now So here we are, basically it says welcome to the system real fast and then it prints out start here and one, two, three, four, it clears the screen so the numbers flash. This is a more this is a very basic way to use the TV out. But with this we should build an idea of what we can do. I haven't designed the system, how the user interface would go, considering the buttons we have and our inputs and our outputs, but we are going to be doing that in the next video. So later what we want to do is we want to figure out our system design and after that we have to install all the buttons as well as the potentiometer inside of the case. I don't think we're going to output video or not really video but images and text from the onboard display that's being used because it's so small. The laptop itself we would probably take the screen off of it for our current testing and just go straight from the composite of this TV which is a much better display. In the future I would like to get a 7 inch display as well as possibly thinking about for the Arduino. For the Arduino maybe it would be a better idea to build one 
just using the 18 mega chip to minimize the amount of wires that are going around and as well as that we have to solder up the wires of the resistors and we will do that in the next installment of the series but we have other projects to do so this is it for today.